What's up you guys? It's Emmy Bree and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by to my channel today. I'm so excited you guys can obviously see I am not in my studio. I'm actually in my living room at my apartment and I am doing a cat tree Louis Vuitton makeover today and I literally cannot wait to get started. I have been thinking of this idea for so long and I finally made it happen. All things. Huge thank you to Logo Fabrics who supplied the fabric for me to be able to do this. I also picked up a few other supplies to make this happen and so I picked up a staple gun. I have an exacto knife and some other things that I'm so of course, because I moved the tree, the cats are all up on it. I'm excited for your tree makeover. It's gonna look so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be putting new fabric down at the bottom. Then I'm gonna be adding the Louis Vuitton fabric. You guys can see they have just completely ripped open this fabric. Yes, you. <laughs> also gonna be redoing this portion right here and a new top as well. I'm actually, actually gonna be leaving this brown fabric on because you guys can see there's foam underneath there and I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm just gonna put it on top. Hopefully that will be okay. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and exacto knife this off. Here is my exacto knife. Pray for me so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> this is my view right now. Pickles is very, very curious. And this is the mess that it's making. Now I gotta go in one by one and take these staples out. This was a bigger, bigger endeavor than I thought. <laughs> Alright you guys, I got my bag right here and I'm just putting all the scraps in. This is a mess. Look at all of this. It's shedding like a motherfucker and it keeps getting at my thumb. We have Miss Priscilla watching and Mr. Pickles is also watching. They are my supervisors. <laughs> Alright you guys, we've got a naked. Alright you guys, I finally got that top done thank god and i'm gonna go ahead with a measuring tape and i'm just i'm gonna take some rough estimates of sort of like the dimensions of how much fabric i'm going to need so i'm gonna write everything down i'm making sure i'm measuring the largest area so i make sure to have enough fabric and now at the bottom i'm the biggest piece of fabric I'm also making sure I'm rounding up because I want to be able to, you know, wrap it around. Definitely my hardest problem is going to be working around these things. This one's going to be easy because I can cut a hole and work the fabric down. But this one is definitely going to be the most difficult, obviously, because I have these two branches. You can see that before. But like, why are you so curious? This is the incredible fabric I was given. Look how amazing. It's like the softest material. I literally could have just used this as a blanket. Like it's so soft. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and spread this out so I can start marking it for my cuts. You guys can see this fabric a lot better. Look how pretty. So I have my amazing handy dandy measurements and I'm just gonna kind of mark out and see. All right, you guys need the first piece. I think this is actually gonna fit. This part, excuse me, sir. This part's definitely gonna be a little tight on this lip. You guys, it's already looking so cute though. I'm gonna go ahead and start to staple it down like this. Oh, it's dark, okay. I'm gonna change my leggings because Oh, it's bright as fuck. Hello, world. Mesh knees and it hurts so bad to freaking kneel. All right, you guys, that is like a trillion times better. I'm gonna start stapling this baby. It worked! Look at me. Stapling gun fool. emergency room from stapling my hand making a cat tree. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm learning as I go. I'm folding this in here. I'm gonna hot glue that more. Oh God, here we go. All right, you guys, so I wanted to show you close up, so I like press it in here, and obviously I'm gonna hot glue it, so there's this little seam right here. It's honestly pretty unnoticeable. Pickles is still watching me, always. Here 
All right, you guys, taking a different approach for the top because I felt like I didn't, it's just easier to like visualize it and I can see how much I need to wrap. I'm just actually cutting it directly on here. So next up, I'm just going to continue to cut this. I only have like a few more inches and then I'm going to cut a circle and hopefully be able to slide it perfectly through here so there's no seams at all, unlike the bottom where I was not able to do that because there's two little things. Wow, you guys, that actually worked. Time to put more staples on it. out of staples. All good. Back to loading. Heating up my glue gun so I can do a few finishing touches on the fabric like on these areas right here. I put some hot glue. I feel like that honestly don't look half bad. There's a few ripples in it, but I feel like that makes sense. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rope, the new rope on here using hot glue. And this is what I bought. All right, you guys, look at that. And then the princess, of course, already making herself at home. Now, all right, you guys, I'm quitting for the night. <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm waiting. I'm gonna do the base tomorrow. See so you like, does it feel good? And we have the comfiest kid in the entire universe. You're such a spoiled boy. Kids are so excited for day two. All right, you guys, it is day two of the cat tree makeover project. Both of the cats literally all night after I was done. Oh, look at her. <gasps> so today I'm gonna be finishing up my project. I'm so excited. I'm really happy with how it's turning out thus far. I'm gonna do the bottom fabric and maybe do a few finishing touches. I also have more of that like hay sort of rope <laughs> stuff. So I might make another little scratch area for them on the bottom. So this is what I'm gonna be using on the bottom. I, I wanted to have the bottom base layer be a different sort of a fabric. So I just have this like a white, super soft, sort of like fuzzy plush material. I'm just gonna, okay. Bring it on my couch. Slightly terrifying. I think I'm just gonna put the fabric over this carpet, kind of like how I did with the tops, because I don't wanna rip all this up. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Back up, please. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> What were you thinking? Vicky, don't get any ideas from your sister. You are not as coordinated. <laughs> Why? Oh, man, he's gonna fall. He's a lot less coordinated and a lot chunkier. <laughs> look, at, look, look at that chunky body. <laughs> Or screws in the back of here where I could potentially take these off so it'd be like super clean. There's also a few over here. Okay, guys, so figuring out what bit I think this one is going to fit. Bingo, bingo, we found. Oh no, I've lost it in the carpet. Oh, peep the socks. <laughs> this video is a mess. <laughs> oh no, wait, found it, found it. Look at Vicky. He's so curious, look at him. He's like, what are those? I'm putting the fabric face down and I'm gonna put the, like that. And then I'm just gonna staple it and then I can feel where those little circles are and I can just cut them with the X-Acto knife. This is looking so freaking good. I'm so proud of this. <laughs> just cut the holes. So I have this left over and I'm going to make another little scratch area here. Letting my drill charge up because it lost power. Okay, so I just cut it to make it a little easier and I'm just putting a little glob of glue on the end so, so I don't have a ton of like fraying ends. All right, you guys, almost done. Didn't burn myself once yet. Probably shouldn't say that, but finally finished, you guys. We have the new scratch rope. We've got the logo fabric, Louis Vuitton fuzzy fabric. Got another Louis Vuitton base. 
and then look how pretty this looks i'm so happy with how this turned out goal was to brighten up this corner and i think i did that i think it looks really really good i love the white base and i love this fabric all right you guys so i have officially Reupholstered, refabricated my cat tree. I think the cats are obsessed with it. I'm so excited with how it turned out. Um, it was definitely a lot of work. I thought I was gonna be able to get it done in one day, but I ended up stretching it into two. Um, yeah, Mr. Pickles is laying. Anywho, I just wanted to thank Logo Fabrics. Thank you so much for the fabric. I'm so excited with how it turned out. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys are subscribing down below. It really helps out me and my channel. I'm so excited. We are nearly at 200,000 like you guys. This is unreal. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time.